Good morning, everybody. Um, is it still morning? I think it might be afternoon. <laughs> it's been one of those uh, mornings. I think all of us are having them this close to the holiday. Um, anyway, it's me, Carrie, with your Saturday sip. Now, I know I promised you guys I was going to be doing it all Christmas, um, but considering Christmas is um, less than a week away now, um, I was hoping you guys would be okay with me showing you some stuff from the um, new mini catalog. Um, now, those of you who have ordered from me in the last 12 months um, will be receiving this catalog as well as the celebration catalog and a um, little little card full of gifts for you. Uh, now, when you will get them is anybody's guess. I mean, we all know what's going on with that shipping situation. So this catalog does start on um, January 5th. So if if you do not have your catalog by then, it will be available online, as will the Celebration catalog. Um, if you don't know what Celebration is, let me inform you now. Um, during the months of from January 5th to February 28th, for every $50 in product that you purchase, you will be able to pick free items from um, within this catalog. There's designer series paper, there's stamp sets. Everybody's like gaga over this darling donkeys. Um, and then just all con there's just stamp sets, more paper, um, more stamp sets, uh, and uh, more paper. Um, also, then some of them go up to a hundred dollars in product order. Like this, this one, um, touch of ink is is definitely. Um, worth worth the extra and then there's another set here where you get um, both the stamp set and the paper so that's kind of cool um trying to remember what else is in there there's bonuses for being a hostess during this time and yes we can do virtual parties so talk to me um i've actually gotten pretty good at them i used to be really terrible because i didn't do them i did in persons uh you know so now um, virtual is uh, definitely what everybody is excited about. So in the mini catalog, um, we are going to be working with this um, ice cream corner suite, which um, when you get your catalog, it's on pages 48 and 49. Um, I hope I can show this page. I'm, there's so many rules. I don't know. But we're going to be working with the stamp set, the punch, the designer series paper, um, I may throw in some sprinkles, although I didn't bring them over here. I, I'm sure I can grab them. But um, that is basically what we're going to be working with today. So let's get started. Move these out of my way. So here's the adorable stamp set. It's called Sweet Ice Cream. I actually won this stamp set during the Stampin' Up! virtual event, and I was so excited about it and then they they demoed it and oh my gosh it was so exciting and of course you can bundle it and save 10 percent and get this adorable punch to punch out the um, ice cream and the ice cream cone um, so some of you are, might be looking at this going what is all this stuff on here so let me explain ice cream popsicles ice cream cone grid for the ice cream cone sprinkles i suppose those could be sprinkles too Popsicle stick, popsicle stick, wood look for the popsicle stick, an ice cream drip, okay? Um, I know I'm going to be using this a lot because, you know, birthdays are what we send the most cards for. So this one is so cute. And the happy birthday, we're going to be using this today. It's just really pretty. So is the thank you, treat yourself, you melt my heart, you're so cool. I think that's so funny. Uh, with sprinkles on top and um, hope it's sweet. We're going to actually put that on the inside. And it is photopolymer. Um, so uh, we are going to be having fun with this today. So the designer series paper is awesome, awesome, awesome. It has obviously ice cream cones and then the back, which I think looks like um, the cone dis dis uh, design. Just I think I went through this before. Splooshes, which kind of look like melted popsicles. And then the pretty purple stripe on the back. And then popsicles. I love how variegated they are. They're just very cool. Um, and the pretty stripes. Love. Here's some more melted stuff. <laughs> and 
And then I've pulled these out. That's why you're not seeing them all. And then look at these ice cream cones. How cute. You can't punch these out, but um, you can definitely fussy cut them. And they're just so cute. How fun would that be for having an ice cream social or something? And I don't know. Our church does that often. And then the back is sprinkles. So um, that is the um, designer series paper. And it is called Ice Cream Corner Designer Series Paper. That seems logical. All right. So... Um, these are some of the papers I'm going to be using today, so let's get started. I'm going to start with a piece of, um, okay, brain, brain's gone, Rococo Rose. No, that's not right. Yep, it is. Rococo Rose, which technically is not one of the colors in, in the, um, in, like, coordinating colors, but I thought that, um, since I'm going to be using this, I thought it went well is it perfect? No, but it's it's PDC, pretty darn close to um, that color. I think this is like extremely close to it. So, um, and I'm just going to mat this on the front. And like I've said, you know, before, um, Saturday sip, I try to make it a fairly simple card for you. Um, so, get that started. So um, I'm hoping you guys are all ready for the holidays. I know this is kind of a weird holiday um, for all of us. Um, I know I'm going to really miss having my kids around, um, even though they're not kids anymore. They're all grown up. But um, hopefully you guys find a way to get together. Um, okay, so now I'm not going to stamp any of the ice creams, although I think they're really cute, and I like how... I'm hoping you guys can see that it's um, the stamp image and the cone image. Well, actually, and the popsicles, too. They're kind of uh, variegated, I guess is a way to say it, so that they are not all like a solid color. I think that's pretty cool. But um, I'm not going to do that today. Instead, what I'm going to do is I am going to punch everything out. So I want to use this paper, it's the back of the ice cream cone paper, because remember I said I thought it looked like um, the cone. So then see now I have the cone looking very similar to the cones on the um, paper. And then for the ice cream, I want to try and grab some of the lighter colors. Now this, this might make you crazy, but... Um, this is, this is just the way I do stuff. So I'm squeezing it in. Getting that one. And then it, I think it's stuck because I have the paper. Oh, new punch. There we go. Okay, and then I want the green. I think I might do the blue too. So let me see if I can... You know what? I'm going to do this one because it has the blue and the green. Because why not, right? Okay. So I've used that from the um, designer series paper. So now I have the pieces of my cone. And I'm probably going to put them together something like that. It's very similar to this cone right here. So those will all get put together. And then... I'm taking my um, Stamparatus, which you all know, my favorite tool ever. If you do not have a stamp positioner, this is the one you want. Don't waste your time with the other ones because this one has the ability to hinge step, which I'm sure you've seen me do before. It does come with two plates, but I only need one today, so I didn't bother pulling out the other one. So you guys have seen me do this tip probably a bazillion times, but just in case you haven't, I have stuck the happy birthday on to the, um, to the grid and I'm going to ink it up and I am using, um, cinnamon cider because that is one of the colors in the stamp set or in the DSP. Okay. Now I didn't stamp it very, I didn't punch it very good, but that's okay. Cause all I'm doing right now is figuring out where it is going to go. And I want you to see this. I, I cut these out with a die and I'm hoping you can see how it has stitches on both pieces. 
So if you wanted to do something where you use both pieces, like maybe make this a shaker card or something, you would have the stitching inside, which would be really cute. I'm going to have to do that because that's a really cute idea I just thought of. <laughs> so I'm going to put this in here and and hope it's straight. Of course, you all know how I feel about perfection. It is overrated. So I'm going to put down my magnets. It does come with two magnets and they store nicely underneath. And I'm going to ink it up. I'm going to stand up so I can press this down better. And I'm still not getting right there. I don't know why. Maybe I didn't ink it good enough. This is one reason why having a stamp positioner is just so awesome. Because when that happens, you can just keep, oh, look at what I'm doing. And I'm not even stamping, no wonder it's not working. I'm not even stamping on the piece I want. <laughs> Gosh, if you guys knew everything that I've been doing this last week, uh, you would forgive me. Oh, shoot, and I got ink on it. That's okay. It won't look as good, but I'm going to flip it over. Probably have ink on my fingers. <clears throat> ink that up again. This should work better. Ta-da! Of course it did. Oh, my H isn't really great. Press that down a little bit. Yep, that's better. Okay, so it really is my favorite tool, even though I don't know why I was having so much trouble. So let me move that aside. And then on the inside, I'm just going to um, use a regular block, just so you guys can see. Of course, you can still stamp everything with a regular block. And I just did the Hope It's Sweet. Then I'm going to set this aside. Now what I could do, and maybe I will do, um, let me see what's handy. Oh, here's a sponge. Even though I really do love our new um, blending brushes, I don't have one handy. So I want to make my cone look more like these are kind of shaded, right? So I'm just getting some of this um, ink on here and I'm just going to start shading out the edges to give it some dimension. And I'm, I'm kind of looking at what they did on theirs. They left kind of a light spot in one area. So I'm kind of going to do that as well. Okay, so it's a little bit more dimensional now than it was. Now I could do that with the ice cream cones too, which I probably should, but I'm not going <laughs> to. So um, I'm going to stick this on the inside of the card real quick. Yeah, I definitely must have ink on my fingers because I'm seeing it getting on stuff that I don't want it to get on. Pardon the noise in the background. For some reason, my husband is walking around back here while I'm doing a video, so I apologize for that. <clears throat> I think he brought me a, a delivery, which is always fun, so I won't be too mad at him. Okay, now I am going to just start putting it together. I want to layer my ice cream cones, but first I'm going to shape them a little bit just because it will give them a little bit more dimension. And then I'm going to adhere this one behind this one. And I'm not going to put it on straight. I'm going to kind of make it look a little bit messy. Just a little bit. Because I don't know if you've ever plopped ice cream, but they rarely plop perfectly. So now I have them on top of each other. And then I'm going to put this one on here. So I'm just going to put a little adhesive on, whoops, on the tip of this one right there, the one in the center. Okay. So 
Now I've made my ice cream cone. I don't think it's perfect, but I don't think it needs to be perfect. And I'm going to round it all up. And I'm going to use Stampin' Dimensionals. And I'm just going to kind of fill the back with them. Actually, you know what, I might use some of these um, leftover pieces because why waste it, right? I mean, why? And I want long pieces. So if you ever get a, a, a thing from me and it's got square and you're like, oh, she didn't use Stampin' Up Dimensionals. Yes, I did. I just used these weird little pieces. So, um, okay. It's so fun to watch me peel the paper off the back of the dimensionals. But, you know, it's the way it goes. So, I probably should have tried to decide what I was going to do with this first. So, I'm definitely going to put this on there. And I think I might want that on top of it. So, more dimensionals for the happy birthday. And this is really, I mean, I'm taking my time to show you guys this. But this is a pretty simple card. And it is just stamp, sink, and paper. Granted, I did use the die to cut out the um, sentiment um, rectangle, but you don't have to. You absolutely could do this without doing that. Just trying to decide where I want it. Try and center it a little better. There we go. And then I'm just going to lift that up right there. Oh, I don't like how it's right next to the green one. So I'm going to pull it up carefully. Try not to tear my paper. And then maybe I'll put it on an angle like so. Okay, so now I'm looking at it and I'm thinking, mm, maybe it does need some bling. So let me Grab the sprinkles. Let me see if my mic will let me go that far. I know they're here in the box because I literally got them. And then I've just been so busy. I have new products sitting here that I have not played with. I know. But, you know, I had to finish my, um, my holiday mailings because, you know, I will have time now um, that all of this is done. Which is why I was excited to do something different for you guys. So, these are the ice cream... Um, corner sprinkles that are part of that um look at how cute they are so stinking cute so um i am actually going to use i am going to use i'm going to use our um multi-glue because they're so so tiny and i'm going to put a couple on the ice cream so i'm just going to make some dots for myself and this is called winging it, ladies, because, and gentlemen, I don't know who's all watching, but, um, because, you know, I didn't know what I was going to do, and now here I am doing it. This is where I need my take your pick tool, but it's, it's not super handy. So, here's a blue one. Another yellow one should probably go on the bluish. That's too close to that one. So we'll put it down here. Whoops. Stay. Okay. Um, these will stick after the glue dries. <laughs> In case you were wondering. Okay, there's a couple more. Put a blue one there. And another blue one there. And then an orange one. Well, it's actually kind of a I think it's terracotta tile-ish. And then the purple. So there you go. And of course you can add more and you can certainly add um, rhinestones or something to make it a little bit glitterier. glitterier. But, um, and then the inside says, hope it's sweet. So there you go. There is your Saturday sip. Um, love, love, love this set. You cannot order it until January 5th, I believe. Um, but it is going to be in the new catalog. And like I said, um, 
it is you you are going to be receiving it if you've ordered from me in the last 12 months if you have not ordered from me but you follow my um page and you are interested in the catalog um please send me a private message and just say catalog and give me your name and your um your address also i am for 2021 i'm going to do a birthday club so if you are interested in being a part of the birthday club i'm still working out the details but absolutely i want to send birthday cards to you whether you are in one of my clubs or not you can send me a message for that and just say um birthday and put your con your information your um name and address and your birthday i don't need to know the year you're welcome to tell me but you don't have to just the month and the day and you will get a birthday card from me um, if you are part of my birthday club which details are to follow um, but basically it's going to be a, a card club where we just make birthday cards basically every month so i mean we all need them right and of course, any of them can be switched. Like you saw some of the sentiments on this it could be um, like a thank you card or whatever. So um, anyway, contact me if you want me to send you a birthday card, which I would love to do. So you can do um, just your name, uh, address, your birth date, um, and then you can put on it birthday club and or catalog. So let me know. Um, you know, you can you can do either or or if you just want to get a birthday card from me, you can just send me your name and address and um, just say card. So, um, OK, that is everything. Hey, thanks, Adam. PTC, that's funny. All right. Um, bye, everybody. Have a very, very Merry Christmas. I am not 100 percent sure I'm going to be doing a Tuesday tip or a Saturday sip next week because it is the holiday um, and I, I do want to have a little bit of relaxed time. Um, also, you can still order from the um, fall catalog and, of course, the annual catalog. And you can use this hostess code. Please, um, please share this video with your friends. Again, um, it's my pleasure to be here with you and have a wonderful Merry Christmas. Bye.